Hey! As we know, I post about my dog a lot and I have a serious obsession with dogs point blank period. I am actually getting a new puppy very, very soon. So I thought it would be fitting to do a puppy essentials video. This is just my personal opinion of things. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not a vet. I'm not a professional, but I have experience in the puppy world. So also if you see this, that's from Izzy's birthday yesterday. So just ignore that. I'm going to start with the things I have beside me and then I will go into the things that I don't have next to me right now. If you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. So first we have a snuggle puppy. These are lifesavers. So in this little belly, there's a little heart. And in the little heart, you press the power button and it mimics a heartbeat. This helps their crate anxiety and feels like there's someone in the crate with them so they don't freak out as much. Snuggle pups are the best. They also come with a heating pack that you can use. Personal preference, but this was a very good purchase. So if your puppy has separation anxiety, what I did with Forrest is I got a stuffed animal. It could be a blanket too. That would have probably been smarter because he tore his up. I slept with this for like two weeks prior to getting him and then I put it in his crate when he went to sleep so he could smell me and that helps with crate anxiety as well. So it can obviously be a blanket too. I feel like he would be less likely to chew it up if it were a blanket but I thought this was cute, so this is the one that we're giving to our puppy. This is bitter apple spray. This is a lifesaver when you have a puppy. If you have a puppy that likes to bite, spray it on your furniture, spray it on your rug, spray it on your wall, spray it on whatever you don't want them to bite, and they won't go near it. I promise you that. This is paw balm. I guess this isn't like an essential essential, but if your dog ha gets sensitive paws, like say you get them in the summer, and their paws get all banged up, you can use paw balm on their paws and it helps with the irritation in their paws. This is from Wash Bar and it's 100% natural. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing, the sun is going behind clouds. So another thing will be shampoo. So this one is the Oatmeal Shampoo by Paws and Pals. This one is really good, we love this one. And this one is from the same brand as the paw balm. It's from Wash Bar. This is 100% natural and really safe for puppies. That's why we had this specifically. This is the one that we use in Forest now. We did use this when he was a puppy too, and it was fine. Toothpaste. It is very important to keep your dog's mouth clean because if you don't do it, who's gonna do it? And do not give them those little grainies. They're so bad. Greenies are so bad for your dog. Don't get them. Going along with the brushing your teeth, I got these little finger brush your toother things <laughs> they just go on your finger and you go in your dog's mouth like this and it makes it a lot easier for everyone involved <laughs> i got these on amazon for like six bucks also everything that i'm mentioning well virtually everything that i'm mentioning will be on my amazon storefront under the dog products page because i have a lot of favorite dog products <laughs> then we have the obvious we have a leash we don't use this one it's just an extra one and if you want to use a harness you're more than welcome to use a harness we are not using a harness it goes down to personal preference though we tried to use one with forest he hated it so for my specific breed that i'm getting i have a slicker brush obviously a brush in general would be great but slicker brush for golden doodles especially. This one is from The Good Pup and we love it, so. Nyla Bones and Benny Bones. Nyla Bones are our personal favorite in this house. We have a ton of them. Forrest is still obsessed with them. I don't think I've ever tried a Benny Bone, but we love Nyla Bones. So these are the ones that we have. This one is way tinier than I thought it would be, so she might not even be able to use it because she might swallow it. Forrest got a hold of these and he really likes them too. A food puzzle. So puppies tend to eat really, really fast, <laughs> okay? So either hand feeding them or getting one of these is a really good route to go. This one specifically, you put food in there, turn that there, lock it. If your puppy's never used it before, you can just slide this over and not use that. It depends on the puppy, but puppy puzzles are very, very good for your dog's brain development and helps them eat slower. I'm gonna go into the essentials that I don't necessarily have by my side because there are a lot of them. So we have dog bowls. We have always used a slow feeder. You can get them on Amazon for pretty cheap. It's just Forrest ate really fast when he was a puppy and he likes it. We've had to get him a couple because he'll memorize the pattern and he'll still eat fast, but slow feeders water bowl, food. So food is a big one. I have a whole video on my channel about what to feed your dog. I'll put that right here and I'll link it down below. We use Purina Pro Plan and Open Farm Puppy Food. Really watch out for what you're feeding your dog and what 
you're giving to them because there's a lot of bad dog food brands. So do your research. A collar, obviously. We get all of our collars and tags from Etsy shops. It's just supporting small businesses and they have cuter collars and tags than any store would. So we always get our collars and tags on their training treats. So we use this brand and this brand. Obviously you can use whatever brand you want, just check the ingredients. Training treats are essential. You wanna be carrying training treats with you anywhere you go when you have a puppy, literally anywhere you go. Because if they do something that you want them to do, easy. Over here, easy. Another one is bells. I'm not taking the bells off the door because that will be too loud. But we are bell training our puppy. We have bell trained two dogs before. One tip that I can give you is that girl dogs are way easier to bell train than boy dogs. What you do with bell training is you hook the bells onto your door and you knock the bells every time you go outside and lead their nose to it with the training treat. And soon enough, they will be doing it by themselves. So bell training has been the easiest way for us to train our dogs. If you want to do potty pad training, potty pads, but we don't want that in our house. <laughs> if we do have an accident in the house, we use potty pads to clean it up because potty pads are very absorbent. <laughs> but other than that, we don't have potty pads just laying around. A crate. Now, there is a lot of controversy on crates. We have crate trained since we've had a puppy. It's just good for them to have their own space and for your peace of mind when you leave to put them somewhere so they're not tearing up your apartment or house or whatever it may be. It's not mean. Don't ever put your dog in there for discipline, only put them in there for happy times. Make it feel like they're a safe place. Obviously dog bed. We usually get ours at Tractor Supply or Amazon. Oh, another one that we have just recently started using is a cot. I don't know the, I think, I don't know what they're called on Amazon, but we call them a cot and it helps with their joints and stuff and teaches them the place command and stuff like that. So we have recently brought that into our home. Forrest really likes it, so we hope our other puppy does too. Depending on the breed of dog that you get, a lint roller. We needed that with Forrest. I have dark hair all over this, so lint roller is very essential too. <laughs> Obviously if you're a dog that doesn't shed, like a golden doodle, you don't need one, but Forrest unfortunately does shed, so we need a lint roller in this house at all times. And I think that's it. If I can think of anything else, I'll put like a, t like a couple things right here, but I think that's all I have. Again, these are just my opinions. You don't have to get all these. You could totally think I'm wrong, but these are my opinions and I've had a lot of experience with puppies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and share and comment and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. I will be posting a lot of dog content soon. So if you are not excited about that, just unsubscribe <laughs> because my channel is going to be very dog oriented. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be posting next Sunday as well. And I hope you guys have a great week.